good morning welcome back everybody welcome this to the bridge part two of uh getting this fence line cleared out and everything so we can get to the fence post and start getting fence built uh it is saturday july 5th so it's supposed to be a little bit cooler than the other day when i was out here and as you can see i actually have some help today so hopefully i can get a little bit more done today's the sixth <laughs> anyway <laughs> anywho so sorry dan so got help out here today so hopefully i can get a little bit more done it's supposed to be cooler than it was out here the last time uh and i don't have to take out quite so early because we won't have to do anything till our live tonight so stick around we're gonna get everything set up and we'll catch you all here in just a minute stand by Okay guys, so apparently the camera quit recording at some point again. Uh, I do have the GoPro and then Tina's been recording on her phone, so. So I've got the GoPro that's been running, hopefully. But let me kind of get resituated here. Chainsaw ran out of gas, so I gotta go put some fuel in it and I'm gonna retry my trimmer again. But let me bring you guys back in here, kind of show you where we're at. So. Made it through here quite a ways. We're almost to the end, and of course that's the size when the chainsaw. That kind of serves me right for not double checking it. I figure, oh, I'm not gonna be using it that much. Yeah. I always check your fuel in your equipment. So, anyway, you kind of see the big oak tree there. That's, that's the corner there. So, we're almost there. I've got a decent little path coming up in through here. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit more, but we can get back in here and work now. I'm leaving this oak tree, and then there's a little walnut tree. I'm leaving those for shade. I just got to keep the limbs from the lower limbs off. And there's a couple other trees back in there that I'm going to leave as well. This oak tree, this little oak tree sapling here, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as well. That'll make good shade trees, but again, just lobbing off the lower branches. However, I'm going to clean up and I'm not gonna leave anything up into the corner. So that cedar there, that's gotta come out as well as these little oak saplings over here in the corner. I'm gonna go ahead and take those out as well. And, uh, because I think what we're going to do, what I'm thinking, may be a good idea, maybe a bad idea, but it's my idea. We're going to leave, I'm going to put a gate in here somewhere along this fence. Hi. Tina's recording me. But what I'm thinking is, is through the day while we're home, We can bring the goats in here, tie them off, and let them eat some of this brush. And then be able to put them back up at night. And then, of course, when we're all gone at work, they'll stay in the pen because I won't be able to keep an eye on them. I work for 12 hours. Tina's gone for nine. So we couldn't just leave these guys in here while we're gone. But when we're home... Bring them out here, put them on some leashes, tie them off, and then that way we can come out here and check on them periodically and make sure they're not tangled up, make sure they've got water there close by them because we'll have to get some little water bowls for them depending on how many we get. And then the donkeys can stay in here. We can let the goats out here and let them clean up some of this brush. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think about that bad idea. And uh, so in the meantime, I'm going to go put some fuel in the chainsaw, try the trimmer again, I'm going to get me a drink of water, and we'll get back to work. Stand by. Santa's holding the lighter My parents 
Just a boy, Christmas brought so much joy. Couldn't wait for the presents and laughter. I couldn't sleep late at night, looking for Santa with lights. Those are the memories I still remember. Then I became a man, lost sight of who I am. But right in front of me was the So, while Tina's pulling brush there, I have made it to the corner. And let me kind of show you what we got up going on up in here. Now we can actually see. So, it's kind of a dead zone right here now. Uh, has been for quite a while anyways. My brother-in-law had built this fence. We've been clearing out back years ago he initially had plans on putting cows or something in here and just never did 
Um, and this area has just been kind of left. You really can't get in here very well with anything because up on the fence line, it drops down to this hauler pretty sharply. So other than a lawnmower, and for the longest time, all I did is I just push mode everything. I didn't have a rider or zero tune like I do now. So yeah, I wasn't coming in here and I should have, but I didn't. Um, so now we're got that cleaned up. So now we can get all the way through along the back side. There needs to be some more cleaning up than we do. I need, I'm gonna have to take my trimmer in. I think the carburetor's crapping out on me. But we got this corner here, this fence along through here. There's the neighbor's place over there. And I honestly thought they had fence that went all the way down. That looks like their fence just stopped right here at this T post. And they don't have any fencing this way, which they don't put cattle in here very often. They more or less use it for hay, but they do occasionally put cattle in here. So and it's worked for them for nets till now, so but These two little cedar trees here. I went ahead and left them. I just cut all the limbs off so I could reach some of this in here needs to be cut back so they can actually get back in here with the tractor and stuff if they want to. But that tree is theirs, so this tree here is ours, and it's not looking very healthy. I don't, this is going to have to come out. I don't know if you can see that big split right there. Goes up quite a ways. Probably have to get with them and get some help, and we'll just cut that tree out and then put a new post in right there. So... But that gets this done here to where we can get it through and get to working on this fence. I think we're just going to put, I don't know if we're going to do cattle panels or woven mesh up. But now I got to get started on this over here. And this one's going to be a chore too, but I'm going to have to get my trimmer in to the steel shop and get the carburetor rebuilt on it. I can do some of it with the, my little chainsaw. I'm going to do what I can, but I think it'll be a lot easier to get in there and with the trimmer with the brush blade on it and clean it up what I can. I'll get on both sides. I'll jump over on the neighbor's side too and kind of clear up some of the brush on it. And uh, that way we can have a good fence there between whatever we wind up getting and then their stuff. Might have to add another T post in here. But yeah. So I'm gonna finish helping Tina get stuff cleaned up, get a drink of water, and then we'll could jump back out here and we'll go from there. So we'll be we'll be right back. It's recording.
So other than hauling a little bit of brush over, we're gonna call it done for the day. Like I said, I get my, I can get the trimmer in, get the carburetor rebuilt on it because I think there's some issues with it. Then I can come through, finish cleaning the rest of it up. And then the real work begins to start building fences. So, but yeah, I'm going to call it today. Tina's kind of helped. Kind of. Kind of helped. Turn that camera around and show that brush pile I did. They've seen the brush pile. That I can't even lift some of those up on there, so you're going to have to do that. <laughs> so, but yeah, we're going to finish that up. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it. It's 10.30. Wish you wasn't a Saturday where I can get the trimmer into the shop and get it worked on. So, but I've got what I can with the chainsaw. At least still got one. quite a bit done. I need to get more done. And, yeah. So, stick around. See what we get into next. And we'll catch you all later. Bye-bye now. Bye.